people can apply to establish casinos in Vigo County and in Danville, Illinois. Nicole Christine met with officials in both areas to find out why they believe travelers should choose their area when looking for a casino to visit. Yes, and there's reasons yeah. why both Danville and Terre Haute are all in on a casino. Both cities will gain jobs and tax revenue from said casinos and will bring in visitors from various places. It's just up to those visitors as to where they choose to place their bets. From Mayor Ricky Williams Jr.'s view, Danville, Illinois has the upper hand on Terre Haute when it comes to securing a casino and the crowd it may bring. I think that we will have a casino, a casino sooner than they do uh, over in Vigo County. Uh, also, I just think that there are going to be a lot of recreational things here to do that they may not be able to offer. But Indiana legislators say Vigo County is the better choice for a visit. We're a busier city. I-70 is busier than I-74. Senator John Ford also points to the existing gaming opportunities in Illinois as a deterrent for travelers. We've been very purposeful in setting up a gaming market that's not saturated. Illinois, I don't think, has paid attention too much to that. Mayor Williams says he doesn't see an issue with existing gaming terminals because locals will still frequent their normal spots. I mean, a casino, uh, you know, a large casino, they're not going to necessarily know who you are. So I think that uh, the neighborhood bars will draw more local people, whereas a casino, yes, it will draw some local people, but it will also drive, you know, bring a lot of visitors to our community. For Vermilion County, Indiana officials, it's about regional partnerships, such as the West Central 2025 group that includes six counties surrounding Vigo County, counties that Indiana's gaming bill says will directly benefit from a Vigo County casino. In the legislation, we got into that 15% of the casino's revenue goes into West Central 2025. And from John Michael Major's view, what benefits Hoosiers wins every time. Is those tax dollars stay locally. They stay in the state of Indiana. Danville government is currently accepting applications for operators and has until October 28th to submit an application for the casino into the Illinois Gaming Board. So if I'm